Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. So before anything else, shout out to Francis Alice and also to all of my subscribers. So today we're going to have a little tubeless experiment. I know some of you are using air compressor to set their tires into tubeless. But today, we're going to use a mini hand pump. Mm, do you think it will work? I think there's nothing wrong to try, right? So let's go! This maxi tires are already tubeless, but my friend wants to change it due to Silan clicking on the side of the front tire. Lesson learned, if you want to go tubeless, use a new tire, because old tire will just cost more, especially if you got into an accident before. First, we need to remove the front tire. Next, inflate the tire by removing the Presto core. When you buy Presto valves, this removal tool is included. Next, we need to remove the tire. This one might be tricky because the sealant already seals the edges of the tire that attaches to the rim. So, we need to bring the edges of the tire in the middle first, then use a tire lever to remove the entire tire. Next, let's clean the rim, inspect if there's a damage on the rim tape, change the rim tape if necessary. So our rim is clean, and our rim tape is still in good condition. Let's install our new tire. First, inspect for the tire directional sign, and we can now put our new tire. Right now, I'm using a WTB Riddler tire with 2.25 width. Actually, this tire is hard to install, maybe due to the packaging of the tire, because some of the side was deformed. Every time I try to put it into the rim, the tire goes back to its deformed shape. So I asked my friend to help me put the tire together. After that, we can now put the sealant and totally install the tire. When using a mini hand pump, shake the sealant inside your tire first, so that it will seal the edges of the tire that attaches to the rim and make you pump easier. Now, we just need to put an air on our tire using a mini hand pump. While pumping, inspect the side of the tires. When the lines were visible, that means that they are perfectly installed. It's now ready to use, we'll just need to install it back to our bike, same process applies to the rear wheel.
do a quick bike check on this Faxter Princeton 2.0. So let's start with the frame. Frame is Faxter Princeton 2.0, 27.5 medium and made of alloy. For handlebar and stem, it's all ABR. Seat post is FMF 27.2, saddle is Velo. For the fork, we have XCR coil with manual lockout 27.5 with 100 mm travel. For drive train, we have Shimano M5100 1 by 11 speed with 3040 deca chain. For brake set, we have Shimano M365 hydraulic brakes. If you've been my subscriber since then, this was the break that I used from my previous content on how to swap Shimano hydraulic brake hoses. One of our subscribers, which is uh, Mr. Ard Antonio, asked if the performance of this brake is still good and if it's good on downhill. Obviously, this bike doesn't belong to me, so I asked my friend if he encountered some problems on the brakes and he said it's still good and he doesn't encounter any problem. For downhill, like you see on this video, you can trust this brake. But of course, rotor also affects the performance of the brake itself, and it is not advisable to use on extreme downhill. For the rotor, we have Segnit Floating Rotor 160mm. For the wheel set, we have hubs. Cruiser XM490, Spokes, Richman Alloy 27.5, Nipples, we have Pillar Brass Nipples, for the rim we have U28, for the tires we have WTV Riddler 27.5 uh, by 2.25, of course this is all already a tubeless setup. So that's it. If you've got any viewers that you want to share with me, comment, suggestion, shout out, just let me know in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Keep safe and drive safe, my